How are we doing today, church? How are we doing today, church? Doing well. I just want to take one quick second. If everybody could just do something with me. Take a deep breath in. Now let it out. There's something special about what just happened right there. That is a sign that we have life. That is a sign that we woke up today and we should be grateful for that. Some of us may have had a tough week. I've had one. <laughs> and went through the week just taking everything for granted. Just the fact that I was able to wake up and have light in my house. Wake up and have, have a roof over my head. And I'm saying all this just to say not to take life for granted to be grateful to God. So let's just sing this next song together.
inside you Open up my eyes in Come on, sing it out Show me Feel me, God Sing holy There is no one like you There is none beside you My eyes in wonder Show me
Father. Lord, thank you for coming. Lord, I thank you for your presence. Lord, how should we be different from anybody else on the planet if your presence does not come with us? Lord, I thank you for your presence. Lord, we rejoice in the Son. Thank you for your Son, Jesus. You brought us in, Lord Jesus. You brought us in. The way to the holy place is open. (laughs) The way to the presence of the Father is open. The way to the presence of the Father is wide open. Wide open. By a new and living way. That is His flesh. We come through the Son and we're with the Father in His presence. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we are with you. (laughs) Lord, we bless you. We honor you. We humble ourselves before you. You're awesome. You're awesome. If you did not get the communion elements when you walked in, that's okay. The ushers have extras, so just raise your hand, please, and we'll get that to you. The little cup, just raise your hand. Please raise your hand if you don't have one. Just want to make sure. I have a, I have a word for you this morning. It's, it's found in the book of Exodus. You remember when the children of Israel were in jail, they were slaves, and God delivered them with a stretched out arm and a mighty hand. And they left Egypt wealthy. And the Egyptians had a change of heart. And they chased them with their mighty chariots. And these were slaves. They didn't have chariots. Chariots were like tanks in those days. So the tanks came after them. And they had camped by a sea. So they, they had no escape. stuck and the Lord spoke through Moses and he said this do not fear stand by and see the salvation of the Lord which he will accomplish for you today for the Egyptians whom you have seen today you will never see them again forever What is chasing you today? What sin is running you down today? What failure do you get reminded of today? Hear the voice of the Lord to say that 
what is chasing you will never chase you again forever. Jesus did it. Jesus finished it. Jesus died for our sins, for our failures, for our mess-ups, for our not being enough. And if you'll receive it, whatever is chasing you will drown, will die, and you'll come out the other side singing. They came out the other side and and they sang the song by the sea. The song by the sea when he drowned their enemies. In the night in which the Lord Jesus was betrayed for us, for you and me, he took bread and he took wine. And and I'm going to pray and we're going to take together. And I pray that you would take it in remembrance of Jesus and take it in faith, believing that for this purpose, the Son of Man was manifested. The Son of God came into being, came here for us. He was always in being, but he came here. He manifested himself to destroy. Say destroy with me. Destroy. He destroyed the works of the devil. We need to take this meal in faith, believing that he has destroyed what is after us. He has destroyed the works of the enemy. I'm going to pray and bless and set this aside, and then we're going to take together. But I pray that you would focus with me and believe the good news, the good news. Father, we come in the name of the Lord Jesus with great faith, Lord, believing that all of my sins have been put in the bottom of the sea. Lord, and there is no more sea with you, God. Lord, I pray that you would break chains this morning. I pray that you would set people free from things that they've never been set free before by the power of the blood of Jesus and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Lord, I I set apart and sanctify this little wafer in this juice. Father, let it be for us the communion of your body and blood, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Father, for the deliverance of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the night he was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it. And he gave it to the disciples saying, take this, each one of you. This is my body broken for you, for me, for you, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Family, let's let's take the bread together and remember that he died for me to destroy everything that would come against me. In Jesus' name. same manner after supper he took the cup and he said this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you for me for the forgiveness of our sins awesome the cup of the new covenant in his blood whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be rescued shall be saved Saints, let's let's take the cup together. died is freed from sin he has done it he has done it thank you Lord Jesus now in this place of faith focus with me do you have any enemies do you have any enemies Jesus said bless and pray for your enemies as a family 
pray for, pray for your enemies right now. Let's, let's send the blessing of this new covenant to our enemies. We bless and do not curse. Bless those who are speaking against you. Let the, the grace of Jesus be extended to your enemies. Bless, bless. Lord, I bless anyone against me. I bless any person that stands against me, Father, resisting me in my work, in my life. I bless them. I, I bless those that have hurt me in the past, Lord Jesus. I bless my enemies. I bless them and pray for your forgiveness for them and your salvation for them, Lord Jesus. We bless them in the name of Jesus. Is there anybody that has any family members or any friends, anyone you know that, that, that is, does not know the Lord in this place of faith? Let's pray for them. Lord, I pray for salvation in the house of every person in this room. I pray that you save husbands and wives and children and grandchildren, uncles and aunts, Lord. I pray for salvation to flow from this house. Salvation in our offices, Lord Jesus, where we work. Let the grace of Jesus be released like a sweet smelling savor. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Save them all, Lord. And Father, in the name of Jesus, you said, by his stripes, we have been healed. Lord, I ask that you would heal every person in the house. God, I invite the healing presence of Jesus. Where the presence of the Lord is, the power of the Lord is. For where your presence is, your power is. Lord, I pray that you would release your power to heal hips, God, and and knees, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would bring healing to toes, God. I ask that those joints and toes would be healed in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, the tension headaches in the back of the neck. God, I pray you'd heal, Lord. I ask for the healing, oh, in the ears, Lord. Heal our ears, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray there is is fullness of joy in your presence, God. And I ask for the healing life of God to flow through. Lord, I ask that you would synchronize every heart. Heal every physical heart, God. Every valve, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we we invite the healing power of Jesus in our presence. Come, Holy Spirit, do your work. Hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you that you care about knees that hurt and toes that hurt and elbows that need to be healed. Lord, thank you for the healing, Jesus. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Worship you. Worship you, Jesus. Spirit telling you right now. Lean in and listen. Lean in and listen to the Spirit of God as He continues to speak to us this morning. Lean in and listen.
name's Bond. James Bond. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. There is no place like home. to Rivers Church. We are so glad that you're here with us this morning. We are in the middle of our movie series, and there's still a few weeks to go, so if you have not invited a friend, and if you've been enjoying the series, please invite somebody to come over the next couple of weeks. Today we're going to be teaching on the movie The Greatest Showman, and we hope that you've enjoyed the service so far this morning. My spirit is so moved by what took place during worship today, and even during our communion service to see our babies worshiping on the stage with recklessness the way that they did this morning. Um, and they're not babies anymore, but the word of God says that raise up a child in the ways he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. I'm so honored to also have Beijing in our um, with us today this morning. She was with us this mo since she was a little girl in our youth group, middle school, high school. And now she is like traveling the world changing everything for the cause of Christ, um, just preaching the gospel and unabandoned to what God has called her to. So I'm so happy to see you here today. It's a culmination of everything that's taking place today. As we were worshiping today, the Spirit of God showed me with spiritual eyes evangelists in our midst here. I saw pastors in our midst here. Yes, I said it and heaven heard it. There was pastors on our stage this morning, evangelists, missionaries. So we're so excited for what's taking place in our church. Um, all of our students will be traveling this week, so if you can please um, keep them in your prayers. Some of them will be going to Brazil to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Others will be going to Georgia. So keep our church in prayer and our students as God uses them mightily for the cause of Christ. And so thank you for being here today. If you're a first-time visitor, you received a little card when you walked in, please fill that out. It's a connection card. You can drop it in the offering boxes. It's a way for us to be connected with you, to let you know the things that are taking place here at Two Rivers Church. And if you have any prayer requests, we go through them weekly and we pray for your requests. So we would love to be praying for you this week if you have something, uh, a special need. Uh, also, our offering boxes, as I mentioned, are here in the auditorium and also on the way out. Um, so you can leave your love offering there as well. And so, again, thank you for being here. And we hope that you enjoy the rest of the service.